Welcome to episode 50 of Walks to the Prem and what an episode we've got today. We've got youth intake news, takeover news, new contract news and the little matter of our last game of the season versus Coventry which could be an historic one for the club. First up let's have a look at the youth intake and as per usual it was very poor with two goalkeepers Dainty and Stedman topping the potential coach ratings with two and a half stars and two possibly three stars potential respectively. The best outfield player Chatfield is a right winger and only has two star potential ability so I doubt we will be seeing much of them as the series progresses. The takeover I talked about in the last episode finally went through and after getting excited at the rumours of a tycoon takeover, it was just a consortium but they did invest £400,000 and get us out of the red for the time being. And the new board immediately made one big call. They cut our link with Norwich, which has served us so well over the years in this save. So I wasn't too pleased with that. But what I was pleased with was a brand spanking new contract that I asked the new owners for. So I've got myself a £200 pay rise and an extra year on my contract, which will take me to 2029. And since we've last been together, we've played six games and gone unbeaten, only dropping points away to Bradford. We beat Rochdale 1-0, Grimsby 2-0, Newport by the same score and Gillingham in our last game 1-0, which all means that the league table is looking very, very good for us. We only need one point from today's game to get promoted automatically from League 2 in our first ever season in the league, which would be amazing. So, let's get into the team for today's game versus Coventry. The team for today's massive game is pretty much back to full fitness. So, we've got Herbin in goal, Wilson at left back, Barnett has taken a pain-killing injection to play in this game. Andrew Unpronounceable is alongside him. Dylan Crow is back at right back. And in the midfield, we've got Lewis on the left. McCarthy in the middle alongside Ewan Murray. Murray has played very well in the games off camera. He's got himself a 7.54 rating for those games, so I couldn't drop him. DiMaggio Wright Phillips is on the right hand side and up front it's Romain Mundell behind the main striker for today's game, Tristan Aberdeen Goodridge. Coventry are the favourites for this game despite us having been in better form over the last few weeks. Little bit surprising that but let's hope we can get the one point necessary to get ourselves out of this league at the first time of asking. Let's go and get into the game. Here is the Coventry team to play against us today. And you can see they may be trying to play the same way as us. Trying to line up in the same formation as us. Hopefully that doesn't mean this is going to be a dull game. Hopefully we can get a few goals here today. Let's get into the dressing room. Let's go team talk and let's go passing it. Uh, come on lads, show what you can do to keep our run going or we're just one point away from promotion. One point away has got a few of them motivated and I have faith and now come on, let's get everybody motivated. I think that is how it is. Yep, everybody is indeed motivated. So prediction time. You know what? I think it's going to be nervy. I think it's going to be a very late 1-0 win for us. Come on, you Linnets. 15 minutes into the game, we've got the first highlight. Their keeper has played the ball long. And their man, Britain, tries to play it out of their defence. It's gone over our defenders. Knee is in and, oh my days, Harrison Knee with his first of the season. And he's never going to have an easier one than that. What happened to Barnett and Unpronounceable there? What on earth happened to them? It was just a simple long ball over the top. They both got confused. And Nee, with the simplest goal he's ever going to score, makes this a very nervy game now. 
33 minutes in, it's Coventry coming forward again, and their header from Tate thankfully goes wide. Finally, it looks like we're going to have a highlight with about eight minutes left in the first half. Wilson with the cross, but it only goes to their man, Irvine, who again plays it long. And Nee is in again. What on earth is going on with our defence? Nee is in. He's gone past one man. He's made it 2-0. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. Thankfully, it looks like other results are going our way at the minute. But we are doing our absolute best to bottle this. What happened there? Our defence just nowhere near anybody. I'm going to have to make a big call here and change the tactic before half time. So let's go and do that. Uh, let's go and play wider. What have I just pressed there? No idea. And so, come on. We're going to play wider. We're, we're, we're gone attacking because we've got no choice. And so we've gone direct. And as well as that, counter press them. I think we're going to have to counter press them. And so I'm a bit worried. I want to go higher. But both of their goals have come from coming over our back line. So you know what? Mm, don't want to go lower. Don't want to go lower either. Let's go standard defensive width. Let's see what that does for the next 20 minutes or so of this game. And wow, was not expecting it to be this tough. A minute and a half before half time, Coventry have played the ball long. And now we've got it back, thankfully. Murray plays it forward. Goodridge has got it. He's in the box. Has he got anybody with him? He's crossed it. They've headed it away. And I think they're going to get it away again. Oh no, don't make it free. White is coming forward. White is coming forward. Come on, get this away from him. Goes back to Senior. Back to Burrows, right on the halfway line. And now Murray, come on, one before half time to give us a bit of hope. McCarthy, back to uh, Crow, that is. Murray, Murray, come on, come on, let's get. Oh my days, what has Murray done? What has Murray done there? White is coming forward, and thankfully, Barnett with a great tackle there, and we get it away. But now there's a goal coming here, but I don't know who for. Hopefully for us, Goodridge is in. Goodridge is in, and it's saved there by Solberg. Oh, corner ball coming in. Who's it going to be to take it? Crow, I think it is. Yes, it is. He whips it in. It comes out and gets headed away. And now DiMaggio collects it. Go to Crow. Pass the ball. He has. Crow with it now. He crosses it in, and nothing happens. Oh, that's not the first half I wanted, boys. Not going to lie. How, how has that happened in the first half? We've both had five shots apiece. They've had three on target, two are two. They've only had a little bit more of the ball. And so, I don't know. What do you change? Because whatever we're trying, it's not working. I've said to the lads, I expect much better in the second half. I'm tempted to try and go two up top, but again, we haven't got anybody apart from Marriott who can really play there. You know what? We're going to go 4 2 3 1. That is my tactical genius plan. That's what we're going to do for the next 45 minutes. And we're going to push Goodridge up into his favoured role of an advanced forward. You never know what can happen here. Come on, two goals, that's all I want. Come on, you Linets. Immediately at the start of the second half, we played the ball from our kickoff, and there's a highlight going on straight away. Barnett goes long, and they head it away. But Goodridge now to Mundell. Mundell, can he get it back to Goodridge? Nope, he's tried to play it to Lewis, but he's not been able to get to it. And now Barnett, again, he goes long. Tate heads away, goes to McCarthy. McCarthy's in space. He goes to Mundell, and that's gone over the bar. We've been forced into an early change here in the second half. Uh, Tyreek Wilson is absolutely knackered. I think he's got a little bit of a knock. So Zach Chandler is coming on for him. I'm tempted to take DiMaggio off as well and bring on Desroy Lake. 
Uh, go for it. We're going to go for it. Come on, Lake. Prove yourself to be a Kingsland legend in just over half an hour. Come on, boys. Oh, no. As things stand, I've just noticed Notts County have gone above us. So, as it stands, we're going to be falling into the playoffs. We're going to have to go very attacking. And you know what? Sod it. Sod it. A loss is the same whether it's 2-0, 4-0, 6-0 right now. So we're going higher defensive line, higher line of engagement. And yeah, everything else is just trying to get the ball. Uh, try to get the ball out wide. That's what we want. And come on. Come on. Half an hour left. Please let us get back into this game. 15 minutes left. Can this be the start of a miracle comeback? McCarthy to Chandler. He goes over the top. Tate heads away, but it only goes to our man, Mundell. Come on, he needs to find a teammate, and he hasn't. Come on, somebody get the ball in a green shirt, please. Nope, it's gone wide tonight. And Knight coming forward. Come on, close him down. Come on, get him annoyed. Get him to kick out here. Get him sent off. But no, they play it to Britain tonight. Into Morel. Into Leroy Senior. Well, not Leroy Senior. He used to play for West Ham, didn't he? Perea with the ball. His cross is blocked. And now Crow coming forward. He goes long, and is Goodridge going to get onto this? I think he is, but he's got nobody with him. He needs some help. Goodridge, it's penalty! Penalty! Come on, referee! Yeah, he has given it. He's given it. Who's going to take it? Who is taking it? It's Ewan Murray, the man who's very good from free kicks. What's he like from penalties? He runs up, and he scored! It's in the back of the net. It's on. The comeback is on. One more goal. One more goal to get us promoted. Please let this happen. Come on. Very nice penalty there. The keeper went the right way, but Murray struck it with too much power. Well, just over five minutes left. I think I've lost my mind because this is the formation we're going for. The game's calling it a 4-1-5. We've got to go for it. Marriott has come on in place of McCarthy. Marriott is already a Kingsland legend, but can he bolster that legend with a very famous goal here? Please. Okay, a minute gone since that last talk. We've gone much higher defensive line, much higher line of engagement. And we're going back through the middle as we're going very narrow. Shoot on sight still, please. All we need is one, one goal. I don't think it's going to happen, boys. Come on. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, here we go. Crow with it. Plays it to Goodridge. Crow with the cross. And Lewis is unable to get onto it. But Chandler is in a bit of space here. Can he find a teammate? He's gone wide to Goodridge who crosses. Mario! Oh, 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 he's offside. Oh, he's offside. Oh, oh, my gosh. I thought that was it. Oh, my days. How offside was he? How offside was he? A fair bit. Oh. Come on. Come on, boys. Here we go. Five minutes left. Coventry now with a corner to potentially kill the game. But we've headed it away. Burrows now has it. Come on, get the ball back. Senior to Burrows. Burrows goes back to their man, Tierney. He goes out wide and there's nobody there. Crow now for us. He's coming forward. He's just kicked it long. Their defender heads it away. Murray, our penalty scorer. Back to Dylan Crow. He's gone long. And Tierney into Burrows deep in their half. But now back on the halfway line. Coventry come again. Perea into knee. Back to Tierney. Oh, come on, Senior. We need to get the ball off him. Perea. Perea's into the box. This could kill the game. Thankfully, their shot has been saved by Herbin. Is there going to be any more? Any more for any more? Come on, one more highlight. Please, please, please. It's not going to happen, is it? No. Oh. Gutted. Absolutely gutted. We've lost the game two goals to one. It's been a very good game. Ten shots they've had to our 12. 
six shots on target to our five. And so that means there's going to be at least one more episode this season. I'm going to go, you are just unlucky. That's all I can say. Just one of those days. Everybody's relaxed and motivated. And so I'll be back with you in a second when we know who we're going to be playing in the playoffs. So the league tables finish like this. We have fallen into fourth. But if you'd have offered me fourth at the start of the season, I'd have bit your hand, your leg, your nose, your ears, everything off. So I am very happy to have finished there. Just gutting to have come so close to automatic promotion. And so have we decided who we're going to be playing yet? No, nope, not yet. And Barnett is injured. How long is he out for now? Uh, a day. We can take that. So let's just keep on clicking until we do find out who we're going to be playing against. Most of you who know the rules for League 2 probably already know. But I don't. So I've got to keep on clicking and wait until the game tells me. Finally, after about 10 minutes of clicking, we've finally got the draw. And it's Northampton Town we're going to be playing, which is abating my worst fears. Because I was convinced we was going to be getting Coventry, but thankfully we haven't. And so guys, that is what you're going to see in the next episode of Walks to the Prem. If you've enjoyed this video, pop a mahoosive thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel for more Football Manager 20 content. This series and the West Ham 0607 series. And as well as that, follow me on Twitter at Bad Jokes Gaming for all the news on the channel. And check out all the other Passion for FM YouTubers. All their details are in the information down below and check out the passion for fm website twitter discord and the facebook and that is all for me for today thank you so much for watching i shall see you later bye